Oh yeah, I just needed to get out here and de-stress. Welcome everybody to my not so wild vlog number 11. This is also going to be a bit of a channel update video, but I'll tell you more about that when I get over to my base camp. <sighs> okay, I've made it to camp, as hopefully you can see by the fire pit. But there's just a few things that I need to take care of when I get to camp, and then I'll get to chatting with you. I'll be right back. With that, I want to say a quick thank you to Mark Young for putting me onto this little thing right here. That is the missing link between my portable solar panel and charging the batteries for this camera. Thank you, Mark. some of my chores done had a little break I did tell you I was gonna give you a channel update so let's get to that I'm in a step competition with my daughter and my wife so I got to keep moving if you don't mind okay the first thing I want to address is the gaps in my uploading there's been a few I mean last year August I went for a paddle and then you didn't see me again until March when I decided to start working on this base camp project. And I got a few private messages from people asking me if I'm okay and what's going on. And so if they asked, I'm sure there are other people that want to know. And I really want to tell you what I was doing. Oh, that's a, that's a little walk up that hill. Out of breath. And that's part of the problem. A little out of shape. Yeah, this is the spot, right here. <laughs> what happened was I decided my channel needed some renovations. And some of you who have YouTube channels might take a few tips from what I did to my channel. It started really innocently. I had a whole bunch of different styles of thumbnails for my videos, so I decided that I wanted to make them all the same so that you could find my video content in amongst the billions and billions of other videos that are on YouTube. And I don't know if you've gone back through your video library. Some of you have extensive libraries, so it would be a big job. I don't. And when I started to go through it, I realized that some of the information that I had underneath the videos was no longer relevant. Some of it was wrong. There were broken links to channels that had been shut down or had changed their name. And the more I dug, the more I realized that my channel needed a major, major renovation. So I'm lucky. I get about 1,000 to 2,000 new subscribers every year. And I just thought about the new subscriber, the person who's coming to my channel for the first time. If they started go th going through my video library, I wasn't really proud of how much it had deteriorated. I mean, I started my channel back in 2007. That's a long time, and there was a lot of stuff that needed to be updated, changed, or eliminated altogether. And I'm quite proud of how it turned out, actually. I mean, um, the links are going to work where there are links. 
I was able to add some of the new features. I updated the information under the videos in case anybody ever reads the description under there. And then I decided that there was another project that really needed my attention. If you knew me in person, you would know that I have this love-hate relationship with advertising. I definitely understand the need for it. You need to get your message out. You need to help people find your products that you're trying to sell to them. It's a way to connect the buyer and the seller. But man, there's a lot of ads in our world. When you compare the advertising that you get on YouTube to say cable or satellite television, holy smokes, we don't even touch that. So. I mean, I'm still very happy with the advertising levels that we get on YouTube. It was just the banner ads that had to go. I don't like watching uh, videos with banner ads that come up along the bottom. I don't know how you feel about them, but I was clicking them off. Even if I really liked the producer of the videos, I was still clicking them off because I want to see the video that they're producing, not this ad that was going across. But I decided as a creator that those banner ads had to go on every video throughout my entire catalog of videos. So if you go and watch some of my older content, you'll notice that that banner ad is gone. Yes, it is going to interfere with some of the revenue that I get from my channel. But what's really important to me is you, the viewer, the subscribers, your experience watching my videos. And if I was clicking them off when I was watching other people's content, I didn't want to have them on my videos either. So, you'll notice, they're all gone. Now that took several weeks, probably a month, working on it on and off. That doesn't account for all that time. There was another big project that definitely needed my attention that I want to tell you about and that I'm hoping that you'll help me out with. I finally designed and built a website where you can go to buy the Amazing Wilderness Camp Cot and the Amazing Wilderness Camp Chair. It's called AmazingWildernessProducts.com. Now obviously I'd really like it if you went and checked out that website, but if you do, there's a gift waiting for you there. Scroll down the page to Wilderness Camping Checklist. Click on the link and that will take you to my wilderness camping checklist that I use to make sure that I don't forget anything when I'm doing an overnight or a week long trip in the wilderness. So if you don't have a checklist, then all you need to do is click on that picture, save it to your hard drive, and you can print it out whenever you need it. Now there'll be a link in the description down below so you don't have to worry about typing in amazingwildernessproducts.com. If you have some feedback for me about the website or especially the checklist, I'm kind of curious to see what you think of the checklist, then by all means send your comments, suggestions to econochallenge at live.com. Now part of what I'm doing out here today besides just getting away and relaxing and trying to decompress is I am filming a couple of videos in support of that new website and featuring the amazing wilderness camp cot and the amazing wilderness camp chair. And if you guys really wanted to help me out, when you see those videos posted after this one, if you could check them out, maybe hit that like button, smash it if you really like it, leave a comment, and most of all, share it with as many people as you care to, especially on social networks. That would really help me out a lot, and it would be much appreciated. Now what I need to do is focus on how I'm going to sleep tonight using the amazing wilderness camp cot. Is it going to be the raised bed? Is it going to be the simple camp cot? Am I going to use it as a hammock? I really need to figure that out before it gets too late. So that's what I'm going to work on next. Look at that. Some fresh drinking water while I was blabbing. Now. The meteorologist, is that politically correct for weatherman? The meteorologist says, I'll just go weather report. Now the weather report for tonight is clear skies. Should I trust the weather report? I think I'm going to try and set up to sleep right beside my campfire under the stars tonight. The sky is really looking like it could go either way though. I don't know. I'm going to risk it.
My bed's ready and set up. I've cut all the wood. I already set up the fire pit. It's almost a home away from home. Just a few more touches. I think we've got it. All right, maybe it was a mistake to doubt the weather forecast today. But that time lapse really showed how interesting the sky was going to be. But look at that. The clouds are gone now. I think we're going to be okay. Man, I just finished a review of an MRE meal. I <clears throat> hope you guys check that out. They're really cool, but I think I got it just in time before the mosquitoes started to come out. So I think I have time for one more swim and then I got to put on the long pants. Well, this is the first fire that I'll have here camping. It's just for entertainment tonight. The MRE came with its own way to warm it up so I won't need the fire for cooking and so far I certainly will not need this fire for heat strictly for entertainment tonight nothing better than a fire in the middle of nowhere I just love this so much Good morning. Ugh, I had a fantastic night's sleep. That's my setup over there. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning. Not a cloud in the sky yet. And uh, there's a beautiful breeze, nice and cool has to be a perfect morning. I got away with uh, <laughs> not needing the tarp. So I guess me and the weather forecaster are friends again. It's uh, time to get some breakfast and I probably need to go see a man about a pig. Fun thing to watch while I'm eating breakfast somebody else trying to eat breakfast. day so I got to get busy and I'll get back to you guys a little bit later can you even hear me with all this wind hmm. after a hard day of filming I like to sit down and relax to a first strike nutritious energy bar <laughs> apple and cinnamon flavor It's actually pretty good. Check it out. You see that? This is the energy bar from that MRE that I reviewed. And I didn't mention this, but I paid $15 Canadian for that. And I think you get a lot of value for that in one package. A little too bulky for backpacking. Way too much packaging. But I could definitely see that being a real treat on a kayaking or canoeing trip. Maybe even car camping. Really good value. After this break, I've got one more thing I need to film, and then I'm done. 
Now the idea I have in my head is to build a base camp here, a comfortable place to sleep in the wilderness that I can come back to over and over again, but still try and adhere to some of the principles of leave no trace. The first thing you need to know about this spot is that I'm well away from the lake. That gives me protection from the storms that are going to come through here when I'm camping. The next thing you're going to notice is that this is definitely not a spot that a tent camper could ever use. It's very uneven, rocky. There's no place to put even a small tent and be comfortable. At best, this is a hammock camping spot or the perfect location to demonstrate the all-terrain comfort that you can get from the amazing wilderness camp cot. Okay, guys, it's taken me about an hour, but that's after I've already collected and prepared all the wood I need. But here is my base camp. I just want you to see it before I put the bug shelter up. Well, this is it, the finished base camp. As comfortable as anything else I've seen on YouTube, the only difference is all this will disappear virtually without a trace. Well, that's it for this video. I'll put a link up here to other videos that you may want to watch. I'll put a link down here to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching the Econo Challenge channel. If you'd like, go visit www.amazingwildernessproducts.com and I look forward to seeing you in the comments down below. Bye for now.